So you're looking for a watch that will fulfill every scenario of your life. And you think that the Rolex they just might just be the thing. For a business meeting. Or maybe a meal with your family. Or just a date for two in a beautiful restaurant. There's no doubt that you're an elegant man. But you just made the groceries for the months and your pockets are empty. So now you're obsessing psychotically about the watch. Or maybe you just like me, you love the quintessence of the elegance of the day just. Well my friend, stay tuned, I just might have the thing. Hi and welcome on the Hands On Time, my name is Mel and I'm doing watch reviews for you. So the topic of today is about this brand, Jacques Dumanoir and this mysterious you know bee that stands um, on the top of the box so who is Jacques Dumanoir and what is this bee um, all about so the bee stands for Bugly okay Bugly was the original name of uh, Jacques Dumanoir so the Bugly is a switch watch brand producing watches with musical movement watches that would cost you an arm <laughs> wrist watches actually that would cost you an arm uh, the brand was established in 1904 by Louis Schwab okay Louis Schwab who founded the the watchmaking fa factory in Moutier. So long, really, really long story short, uh, he had 15 children, okay, 15 children who were like highly interested in um, in the watch uh, the watchmaking and uh, Jacques Buckley one of his children you know uh, created Jacques du Manoir in 1993 I think uh, but I found out the status of um, of the brand and uh, it was uh, actually 1976 if I'm correct and uh, after that François his son François Buckley uh, took um, the legacy under uh, his wing but sadly uh, there was a problem. The, the company was liquidated and uh, was um, the rights for the company were brought back, you know, bought back, sorry, by a guy called uh, Christian Frommertz. Okay, Christian Frommertz. And Christian Frommertz is the guy behind uh, Romer watches. You know, the brand Romer. Uh, he's the guy behind Romer watches. He bought back, you know, Romer watches and even uh, gave a renewal to Rodania watches, which is also another Swiss-made uh, brand company. Uh, nowadays, since 2018 was the date when he bought back, you know, the rights for Jacques du Manoir. They are doing, you know, a lot of uh, watches for women. But you have some of them that, that are made for men, and this is the topic of today. Uh, so um, let's, uh, you know, without further ado, let's go and, and dig in. So the topic of today is about this watch, this beautiful Rolex Datejust homage from Jacques Dumanoir uh, and the Bugly, you know, the Bugly co company. So uh, how much did I pay for this beautiful, beautiful watch? This watch retails at three, 329 uh, euros on the official website. I got it on sales on the official website of Jacques Dumanoir from Switzerland for uh, 169 uh, if I remember correctly, okay? So not a lot of money for a really, really, really wonderful watch. What are the specs? The specs for this watch, really simple, 40 millimeters uh, case diameter, okay? The thickness, let's find out. The thickness is absolutely wonderful on this watch. I'm gonna prove it to you. The thickness is 1012. As you can see, wonderful thickness on the on the 12, you know, millimeters, which means it's going to stand beautifully uh, on the wrist. So uh, that's for the thickness. You have a cyclop that magnifies really, really, really well the date, as you can see. Okay, really well aligned as well. You know, there's no flaws uh, on this. Um, on this Swiss made, uh, Swiss made watch. You have, uh, what else, a beautiful flute type of bezel around 49 lug to lug width distance, okay, 49, which is really nothing. Uh, 20 millimeters for the bracelets, okay, which is a Jubilee bracelet, as you can see, made of stainless steel. Everything is a 316 stainless steel on this watch. And you have a deployant butterfly clasp, as you can see, for the bracelet, that's the job, stands well on the wrist, nothing to complain about, really. So inside of uh, this beautiful watch, you have the excellent Ronda 515 uh, quartz from uh, Switzerland as well, okay? Uh, really reliable uh, quartz, highly repairable, okay? 45 months of uh, um, battery, you know, um, 
longevity inside of uh, this this, uh, this beautiful watch for the uh, really good Ronda 515 quartz. Uh, what else can I say? A beautiful two position crown sign with the B of the uh, Burgley, you know, uh, watch company. So uh, when I was young, you know, I was going like every, every, every year, two months in Switzerland, and uh, I was fluent in, Swiss, uh, in the Swiss language. Can you believe this? Uh, I forgot everything since then. But I was fluent, and, um, and I think that uh, Boigli or is pronounced Burgley, you know? That's why I'm pronouncing it like this. I hope I'm not mistaking. So uh, yeah, I think that that's it for the specs. The good and the bad. What's good, what's bad about this watch? Everything's good about this watch. Uh, this is one of the most beautiful, most affordable, uh, you know, Rolex Datejust homage that you will be able to find on the market. It's really as close as it is. I mean, look at this. I'm going to put a picture, you know, of the uh, original one. And this is crazy, crazy close, like scary close. Okay. Except for, um, you know, uh, the, the Rolex because you know Rolex are signing the inside uh, of their cases uh, here there's nothing but uh, I mean except for that and um, the pattern that you have around the original Rolex everything is absolutely the same on this watch and it is crazy like scary scary close okay I think that the bracelets is different on the original one you have like a, a three three uh, three lines on the, the Rolex Jubilee bracelet here is only like uh, two two main in the middle I mean and, and and I mean that's absolutely it it's wonderful you know everything's really really fine about this watch except maybe they could have uh, you know uh, make a little effort on this uh, you know truly generic type of clasp butterfly clasp but uh, apart from this i mean <laughs> everything's absolutely wonderful on this watch how do i wear this watch really easy like the rolex you know they just uh, truly a um, hundred percent versatile you can uh, you know uh, wear this watch with a suit casual chic casual times every any any time and there you go for the wrist shot so guys i cannot emphasize enough on how close this watch is um, uh, you know uh, from um, of uh, the Rolex they just really 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 stands super super well on the wrist as you can see like 10 millimeters of thickness it's nothing and stands wonderfully beautifully on the wrist so there you go for the Jubilee bracelet I have marks of a uh, of my of other bracelets on my wrist no worries look how it stands look on the side I mean the 49 you know the 49 lug to lug with distance embraced uh, you know wonderfully the wrist like in its entirety as you can see everything is like touching my wrist here it's bananas how how comfortable and wonderful it is on the wrist truly and there you go for the loom shot so as you can see the loom is wonderful on this watch i think that on the original rolex uh, you know they just there's no loom applied on this one there is and um, trust me the loom is really good i'm trying to focus here but the loom applied here is like truly not weak at all okay i have some trouble with my dslr but trust me on that the loom is truly well applied and powerful so guys let's take a moment so look at the beautiful sunburst the sunburst on this watch is crazy a deep deep beautiful blue so as you can see the text high performance quartz powered instruments swiss made as you can see the applied indices roman numerals beautifully applied are making like a wonderful perfect circle you know this the cyclop that magnifies absolutely well and greatly. I hope the, um, it shows on the video, you know? The Jacques du Manoir with the B, sorry. We have the minute hand on it. The flute type of bezel, like the, the original Rolex. The B sign, crown, as you can see, beautiful on the crown 
Let's have a look at the back. I'm gonna try and focus on it, sorry. Jacques Dumanoir, Swiss made. All stainless steel. Five atmospheres, I forgot to tell you. Okay, don't go and swim with this watch. It's not made for it. Okay, five atmospheres of water resistance. And the mysterious B that we have on the top. Beautiful, and I think that there are uh, solid handlings. Okay, the handlings are solid, I think. So, what do you think? I mean, I've looked for everywhere for, for you know, a day just, a beautiful day just uh, homage or alternative. And it was really, really hard. The Pawnees, the Seikos, the, the Bulova, the many, many, many different brands. And I'm so glad I found out about that one. Jacques Dumanoir. Wonderful. Really wonderful alternative to the to the Rolex Digest and so close and so close. So final thoughts, my final thoughts are simple. If you are uh, on the market for, uh, you know, a Digest alternative, I think that this is it. The Jacques du Manoir is truly, truly wonderful. And um, some people might say, uh, oh yeah, but it's a quartz. Well, let's not forget that, uh, you know, uh, there's a, a quartz that is called the Rolex um, Oyster Quartz, okay? A famous quartz from Rolex. Rolex was making quartz also. And that the uh, Oyster Quartz is um, a watch that, uh, you know, um, many, many, many people love and like. And inside you have like uh, uh, a Swiss made quartz, okay? It's a Ronda Quartz and a very good one and reliable one. So uh, me uh, personally, I'm not like, um, Disappointed that I did not choose, you know, the Pawnees or another watch. I love that one. And the comfort is just mind-boggling, you know, and unknown when, uh, when it comes to uh, alternative. So, um, like, comment, subscribe, help me help you, you know, uh, as I'm always saying, help me help us help you. And help me help you and subscribe to my channel. It really, really helps. Okay, it help us. Uh, this is like truly um, time consuming and hard, you know, to put out uh, this type of um, content for you out there. So it's free to subscribe. So please uh, subscribe to my channel. That really will help. What do you think about this watch? Do you find it beautiful? I find it dashing personally. So take care of you. Okay, take care of your families. Be well and a lot of love, as usual, from Paris.